Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another video for you with Project Mark 7. Now, as you can see, you remember this location, right? The last time that we were here, we were actually doing the sound clips of the AWE catback exhaust with the MA Performance Catted Downpipe. As you guys know, I sold my AWE track exhaust and I went with a Corsa Performance catback system, which sounds completely different in the best ways possible. It added a resonator and it added a muffler, but for some reason, it's literally louder than the, um, than the AWE, but it's louder in the best ways possible. Meaning, when you're driving on the street normally and you're just cruising around town, it's fine. But if you're actually going ahead and you're getting on it, it sounds amazing. And then with the pops and bangs, it literally sounds like gunshots, which, ah, it's just awesome. But oh, we're definitely gonna look at more of that today. But obviously, as you know, from the title of this video and what I'm talking about, we are going to do another sound clip video. You guys have been asking me about this for a while with the Corsa catback exhaust, made it with my MA Performance catted, high flow catted downpipe. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road and let's hear what this DB sounds like. But we're actually gonna show you sound clips of the car driving normal. Um, um, hard launches, oh, we're gonna do, no, we're gonna do one launch. Um, we're gonna do one launch because these tires are extremely sticky. They're not the same tires that I had on the car previously where I can go full set. So uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do normal pullaways. We're gonna do hard accelerations. We're gonna do flybys. So you guys can get a good general idea of what the exhaust sounds like. Also, with my buddy Mike in the car, we're actually gonna mount the camera up in the car and you're gonna see how it sounds on the interior as well. Like I said, minimal drone, which is what Corsa exhaust is known for, for having this technology in their resonator so that you don't have any type of any type of um, uh, drone inside the cabin while you're driving long distance. So we're gonna go ahead first and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you what the exhaust sounds like on normal takeoff. All right guys, so that was pretty much just normal driving. As obviously that you guys can hear a little bit of hum, but inside the cabin is completely, actually almost quiet in the car. Volkswagens come really good with insulation, so you're not gonna get much drone in the cabin like I said previously. So now we're gonna do is that we're gonna get on it just a little bit more, and then we're gonna get on it on the flyby as well so you can actually really hear the car. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on it with the pops and bangs. We're gonna rev it a couple of times too, so you guys get a good general idea of what the exhaust sounds like on load and while revving so i'm just going to do a little bit of aggressive acceleration from a stop here and then flying back and then we'll do the other stuff so my mode into sport mode and the car goes from sounding like in normal mode like this to sounding like this so then the sport mode gives it a little bit of a uh, pops and bangs well a little bit but well, you'll see what I mean so we're gonna give you a couple revs with the pops and bangs now sound like on load and then I'll just do a flyby so you can hear the pops and bangs in between shifting gears.
Nah, man. What happened? Yeah, that pop, yeah. You can hear the pop out, like echo off the back of the, of the unknown. Who knows? But yeah. Don't close the man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Time because the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you just doing like just full dump or are you just? No, I oh. can't do full dump. I can't do full dump. I'll ride it. All right, all right, all right. to do for you guys is show you how this exhaust sounds inside of the car so during normal driving this is what it sounds like and pardon me if you hear the uh, AC that if you hear like wind in the background that's just the AC blowing those legs. so this is fourth gear right now as you, like I said, you get a little bit of a hum inside the cabin. But for the most part, it's quiet, you know. That's one thing I really do love about this exhaust. My AWE on the highway used to drone really bad. Okay, we're gonna do a small acceleration till I can find a place to accelerate. That would be nice. I would love to accelerate. Not aggressively. But I just really want to show you guys how this exhaust sounds in a car. Like literally it's 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 it it, it it does both things great. Like for instance, I'll go through the gears real quick. I'm gonna turn off trash control, I'm gonna go through the gears, and you'll hear how the car sounds, right? So trash control's off. Now I'm gonna go through the gears hard. I'm gonna get to like about maybe third or fourth gear. I'm not gonna wind it all the way out, but here's what I'm gonna do. That's how I'm gonna go ahead and do it. chill and I put the car in sixth gear I'm doing 70 miles an hour and it's quiet and it's nice and it doesn't bother your ears and I'm downshifting to a stop and that's all you get 
That's the beauty thing I love about this exhaust system is that I do long distance. So if you guys ever know, if you guys have seen the previous videos, you know that I went to Georgia. You guys know that I went to Canada and I didn't have to deal with this in six gear the whole time. It actually was very composed and it was nice and quiet. It was refined inside and you get a nice hum, a nice refined hum uh, from this exhaust. So I do recommend if anyone has a Mark 7, they want to get a good sound out of this exhaust. If you want to get a good sound out of the car, excuse me, I would recommend this exhaust to them. It's the Corsa Catback Performance Exhaust for the Mark 7 platform. So guys, I hope you liked this video on JR14 of me pulling around in the Project Mark 7. Hope you guys love the way that the MA Performance catted, high flow catted downpipe made it with the Corsa axle back exhaust. I'll put descriptions of both links so we can buy both of these products in the description below. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to JR14 on YouTube. I hope you guys had a good time watching it because I had a good time driving it. And you see the wheels, but we're gonna get back to the wheels in a minute. If you have not seen that review, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna do a whole another cinematic video on the wheels, but you get a sneak peek of what they look like right now. But without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys enjoy your rest of your day. Take care.